Hey guys, this is Akar, and today we're going to be looking at my personal favorite build I've ever put together. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me to make a video on this build, and I finally stopped being lazy, so here we go. First of all, the sets that we're going to be running is we're going to be using the Black Rose 2H in Nernhoned on your front bar. It is really good for doing damage to multiple people at once, and it's really just good for 1vxing. On your back bar, you're going to have 7th Legion Sword and the 7th Legion Shield. I have it in Reinforced and Powered. Powered, I would recommend. You could either go with Reinforced or Sturdy on the shield. It doesn't matter. And then I have a 7th Legion's Helmet. I should make that gold. I need to stop being lazy. And then Hulking Draugr Chest with all the rest of the main body pieces being Hulking Draugr. Everything's prismatic, as you can tell, except that which I made health because I was running a little bit low on health and then one piece Balord shoulder for the one piece weapon and spell damage and then on the jewelry we're going to be having 7th legion transmuted to robust with the stamina recovery glyph the wild huntering with infused and a weapon damage glyph and another 7th legion ring with robust transmuted and stamina recovery our skills we're going to be running on the front bar i've got dizzying swing with your black rose 2h you do damage to multiple people at once it's great i love it camo hunter to increase your damage rally because i really am tired of explaining this it's fucking rally guys blast bones it's a stam necro run blast bones thank you executioner uh, I go back and forth between Executioner and Reverse Slice. I think I prefer Reverse Slice on this build, but since I'm recording this video when the AoE tests are going on, uh, I wouldn't be able to do Reverse Slice more than once every like three or five seconds. Thanks, Zoss. And then Dawnbreaker of Smiting because it's Dawnbreaker. Anyway, back bar, Spirit Guardian. The 10% mitigated damage on Spirit Guardian is just absolutely amazing i love it it's too good you got to use it hexproof you can go back and forth between this or shuffle or whatever you want on this build i like it personally i just like to get all the negative effects off me it's really good for when you're kiting uh a bunch of people it's really good vigor again i'm not gonna explain this it's vigor mortal coil it's really good really 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 good on any uh, necro build in general i highly recommend putting all putting mortal coil on every single one of your necro builds and then summoner's armor because i don't like the other morph of uh the armor it, it it pulls people in and you can't be in control of the cc at all times so i don't like that and then on back bar i really like ravenous goliath you can just take so much damage and then turn into that and basically go offensive for nearly the entire time obviously exceptions apply then for our attributes we're gonna have all of our points into stamina because, you know, that's how we roll around here. And then our Mundus Stone is the Warrior. And we're using our Tam Takeaway Broth. Our stats are going to be looking like this, in case you were wondering. Buffed up on your front bar, you're going to have 2002 Stamina Recovery with 1,273 Health Recovery with 28,000 28, Health and 35 Point seven thousand stamina. I think that's a lot. It's really nice. Let me rebuff. And then your weapon damage is going to be 4,110 with your resistances basically being 25,000 each on your front bar. 28.3k each on your back bar. The champion points that we're going to be looking at are going to be looking like this. I'm not going to explain it. You guys can look over it. If you need to, just pause the video. And I will get a full rotation of how to buff up and do damage in a second. So here's how my buffs go. 
I start up with my mender, and then I hit my armor, and then whenever I'm attacking somebody, I hit a blast bones first, and then I rally, because the blast bones takes a second. Then I uh, dizzying swing, I usually get a heavy attack in, and just always keep your blast bones out. You just keep on dizzying swinging, blast bonesing. You want to get your mortal coil out on the first thing that drops. Make sure you keep your buffs up at all times. And that's about it. Basically, your main damage burst is going to be Blast Bones, Uppercut, Dawnbreaker, Reverse Slice. And a lot of squishies you can kill with just that combination. Obviously, you're going to have to improvise when it comes to actually fighting people that know what they're doing. But squishies, you'll have a great time with that burst. It'll have, it, you'll, you'll do fine, trust me. And that's about it. I'm gonna play some gameplay of how the build works in action after I'm done here. But before that, I really appreciate you guys checking out the video. If you haven't, I'd appreciate if you subscribe to the channel. And if you don't, you could always follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash the car, where you could see the build in action all the time. All right, guys, thanks again. Have a good one. I would like this life to begin a revolution.